So this is chocolate bark, so bittersweet chocolate bark with pomegranate seeds and candied bacon. Now, this, you are going to see that this is going to take me five minutes to make. It is so easy, and it's just the best Christmas gift. This is the kind of thing which you just, you break this up, you put it in a pretty box with some tissue paper, and you give it to someone who you love because they will be so happy and they will love you back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to melt the chocolate. Now, you can melt the chocolate any way that you like to melt chocolate. I did it, th I do it this way most of the time because I'm very distractible. You know, I'm the kind of person, I'm, I cannot do one thing. I am a multitasker. So if I put this chocolate here, if this was just in a pan directly on the heat, if you are the kind of person who's very patient and you stand there and you stir and you look at it, you can totally do it that way. But I am not. I am the kind of person who's like, ooh, shiny, ooh, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> you know? So I need, to, I need to do something that's um, fail safe. So once this water gets hot, I'm going to put this on. So you just take your little pot. And this is the thing. So you need a metal bowl because metal conducts heat. If you try this with a ceramic bowl, it's going to take you 10 years to melt your chocolate. You need it because it's just not going to heat up. So you need a metal bowl. Few points here that are very important. Make sure your pot is small and that this will rest on top. You don't want the bottom of the bowl to be touching the water because that's going to make it too hot. So that you need distance between, the bo between where the water is and where your bowl is. So big bowl, small pot, which is one of those things which I, you, know, you learn the hard way. <laughs> um, and in the meantime, while that's just sitting there, I'm going to stir it every once in a while with this while it's sitting there. But I'm going to tell you about the bacon. So I made this earlier today. The whole house smelled like bacon. Do you know how hard it was not to eat this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, let's just say it was sitting in my house all day, mm -hmm. and here it is. So the way to make candied bacon is, um, this will work, by the way, this recipe will work with anything you want to put on top of it, but you might as well put candied bacon on it if you like bacon. So you take your bacon strips, and you lay them out just on your baking sheet. Can, uh, yeah, you guys can see that, right? Then you just take brown sugar, light brown, dark brown. You can even use white sugar. You could use cinnamon sugar. You could spike your sugar with a little bit of cayenne. You could spike it with some black pepper. You could put rosemary. You know, up to you, lemon zest. You want a thin coating of brown sugar on all of your bacon pieces, and you put it in a 350 oven for about 25 to 30, 32 minutes. What's important is your bacon, see, now it's getting soggy. It was very crisp earlier today. You really should do this close to when you want to use it, because it will it will be sad. But it was, you know, imagine it not doing that. That's what you want. You want the nice crisp bacon. However, once it goes into the chocolate, it actually doesn't matter at all because it's chocolate and it's bacon and it's, it, may, it will make you happy. Okay, this is happening. Whew, good. So you see how this is melting? Now you see I have, um, I have these nice little chocolate discs. You can buy these. These are great. Otherwise, you just take chocolate and you chop it up. Okay, I'm going to take this off for a second. Oh, look how nicely that's boiling. And I'm just going to, the thing about melting chocolate, is that you want to um, kind of melt it halfway and stir it around a, a bit. The residual heat from the bowl is going to help melt it. And then you can put it back. And notice how this is not that hot. See, I'm picking it up. I'm not using a pot holder, which is good because I forgot my pot holder. I forgot oh, my hot. side towel. Deb is so organized. I just <laughs> but I don't need it because it doesn't get that hot. Now, what I have over here, I have this is just baking pan lined with parchment paper. Parchment paper is pretty important here because if you don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pan and then you're going to try to pry it off and then you're going to get it stuck to your fingers and the whole thing is going to melt. So this will just, it makes it easy. If you have a silicon mat, you can use that too. And that is done. Okay, good. So we have nice, smooth, melted chocolate. I have pomegranate seeds in a honey jar. But I am going to pour some of the seeds in here, and I'm going to crumble some of the bacon up in here, and then the rest is going to go on top. So this is double layer. I have it inside and on top. So I'm going to do about half of it. Um, I've also made this recipe. You know what's really nice, especially for the holidays? Pomegranate seed and pistachio, because you've got the green and the red. It's really pretty. Okay, but here's the thing about the bacon and the pomegranate. This is one of those recipes that you make it and you serve it that same day. This don't. So you can give it to someone as a gift at like a dinner party or something, but you don't really want to keep this around because both of these things, the bacon and the pomegranate seeds, have a high moisture content. And you know what happens with moisture in chocolate? It's not pretty. The chocolate will start to melt, and it'll get really messy. So don't mail this to your great aunt Ethel <laughs> in Cleveland, because by the time she gets it. But if you want to make a bark that you can mail, what you do is you do the exact same recipe, but you do things that are stable, like you know classics, like the nuts and the dried fruit. I love my personal favorite. I love dried apricots 
with dark chocolate. I just love it because it's so tangy. And then with nuts on top, also pistachios is great. Pistachios are great. Dried citrus peel that had been candied, you know, like orange peel, that's great. You can make orange jets, another great blog. Okay, and then you just fold this together. So you have some of the bacon in here. And what's great about this is you don't need a recipe. There's no recipe, you just melt some chocolate and throw some stuff in and it's gonna be good. However, if you want a recipe, it's, this is, um, I think we're gonna put one up on the WNYC website soon. This is five ounces of chocolate. It is a, I think it's a half a pound of bacon, half a cup of brown sugar, quarter cup of brown sugar, and um, as many pomegranate seeds as seems right. I did not measure the pomegranate seeds. Deb would probably be behind me measuring the pomegranate, <laughs> right? And the weight. <laughs> and the weight, right? I'm really fun, though. I mean, really. Fun. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be in the kitchen with me. <laughs> okay. Now, this is the pretty part. So this looks like whatever, but then you put these on. Ooh, <laughs> and it's so pretty. Pomegranate seeds are great because you can buy them out of the shell, which is really nice. I love this development. This is one of the best convenient foods in the world. <laughs> Convenience foods. Pomegranate's already done for you. And then... Oh, this, this one is nice and crisp. Candied bacon. Now this takes, a, when you, once you do this, you need to put it in the fridge for about 20 minutes so that it turns into that. Because this takes a long, or you can leave it out, but it'll take hours. But you put it in the fridge, 20 minutes later, it is done. This is one of those amazing dessert things too. Like say you're having a dinner party and you're not like Deb, who would probably make an amazing, you know, cake, who, you no, know, no, in advance. Dinner party dessert should be really simple. Dim exactly. This is a perfect dinner party dessert because you can make it, it's homemade. You can make it really easily. You can make it without the bacon. Just make it, you know, with the pomegranate seeds. And instead of, oh, instead of the bacon, when I do the pomegranate seeds by itself, so I'll add candied ginger and then a little flaky sea salt to the top. That is a killer combination. And then you do that, and then you just, you have this lovely little, you know, sweet end to a meal and people love it and it's just so easy as you can see it took exactly what six minutes and that is it and you put it in the fridge and it comes out and it looks like this and uh now you guys get to eat it and you get to have pomegranate Yay. in your teeth <laughs> <laughs>